guys I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos and you can also um, get one question answered by me every month um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds there is also another tier uh, for $14.99 uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos so take advantage now uh, it's here for you thank you take care hello 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 Aquarius thank you for being here thank you for liking sharing commenting and subscribing to the channel it means a lot please continue to do so all links are below if you need to get in contact with me let's go ahead and get into this thing thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear concise message from you all right so Aquarius what I was getting in meditation yesterday for you is like um so it's like an angel an angel blows the dust off of what looked like um maybe a fish bowl but once the dust had gotten blown off the fish bowl it was a person inside the bowl and the bowl was shaped like an eye so it's like I don't know for some of you your thought process may be cloudy you don't know which way to go you're indecisive you don't know if you if you should stay or go this could be in relationship at work in business your 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 thought process is cloudy you can't see which way to go uh spirit is saying listen to your spirit guides you, you've got guidance you've got angelic presence around you calm your nerve calm yourself so that you can hear the words also got replenish okay so you need to have replenish something something will be replenished or you need to replenish um, so that means you're almost out of or you're out of or you're you're going to a place of depletion you, where you won't have any more left okay so you need to replenish I heard maybe even going backwards before you can move forward so you're gonna have to go backwards also I was getting again this had come up in an, another reading um, some of you need to trace your family history trace your I know it costs a little money to do so it costs some time and some money but you're going to get some valuable information from tracing your family history. Um, and then I got like, it was like um, a vision of several women, like doing all these different hand gestures. It, it put you in the mind of Tai Chi, but it really wasn't. Um, it was like magical movements. Like they were manipulating the energy. Like it wasn't malicious. It was like, you know, they just knew how to, move the hands and move be in the right space to i don't know manipulate the energy I, that's what i got so um let's see what the cards want to tell us um keep in mind you need to replenish listen to your uh to the angelic presence that is around you pray meditate stop sit in a dark room listen what comes to you write it down because you're getting you're going to get some insights some download life is too loud right now for you to hear um, but when that angel speaks to you it'll be like them blowing dust you know off of so that could even be indication of you needing to if something grows dust on it or you know it, it grows dusty that means that it hasn't been in use for a while so you might need to go back and get something grab something bring something back into the now uh, blow the dust off of it and then make it of use maybe this will help replenish you i don't know let's get into the reading we're gonna try to make this one not too long all right let's see what do we want to tell the aquarius all right the moon card yeah you could be having some vivid dreams right now this is about the deception self-deception you know deception around you um it talks about hidden things particularly hidden enemies um so people who veil themselves there's a veil they're not being honest about uh, their true feelings their true emotions uh, their true intentions this is the dark side of the moon also this is a uh, stuck stagnant water murky water um you're not being able to see something this is also um this could even be psychic 
intuition being heightened at this time um this could also be a relationship that is cyclical you know it goes in and it goes out if you were to trace the times of the new moon and the full moon you would see that your relationship starts back up around the new moon and it ends by time of the full moon if you were to actually you know put it on paper trace that you may see that there's something going on in in a cycle it's cyclical okay there is something that you need to do around the moon you might need to cleanse clear let something go um you might need to call something back in uh, I heard call your sexual energy, your sexual partners that you've had sex with past, present. Um, call that energy back in, okay? The moon card, something is veiled. It's not for you to see at this very moment. It will unfold to you. So there is mystery surrounding. There's also separation. I don't know, if you separated from somebody, you just don't know what's going on with them or they don't know what's going on with you. Your energy is veiled. I heard cloak. Maybe you've cloaked your energy or you need to cloak your energy because there's someone trying to peer into, look into. Ooh, that fishbowl. You have that dust on that fishbowl. The angel came and blew the dust off of it. I don't know. Maybe you, your energy is veiled or is cloaked at this time for a reason. You've got the wrong people trying to look into, tap into. What else is going This is uh, feminine energy also. So it doesn't have to be that it's a woman uh, someone born a woman doing this to you is someone acting in their feminine energy so we know that feminine energy can be wise um it can be cunning it can be strategic it can be manipulative okay so we've got you know maybe somebody you know acting in in that cover especially with the moon card coming out what else is going on for aquarius um yeah two of cups so we got somebody who so we've got separation here. And then in the two of cups, we got somebody who wants to heal the severed tie, you know? So that means it was already severed. Like you had already cut it off or they cut it off with you, whom, whatever side you're on, but you got somebody who wants to heal the severed tie. This is somebody who maybe you thought you would marry. They thought you would marry you. You thought that a relationship would go far. Maybe it did, um, but there could have been a severing of the relationship. It could have been due to um this secrecy this mystery um something being done undercover right that's why it, you sever the tie and now you've got somebody here cancer energy the moon is governed by cancer you got somebody here who wants to come back together who was saying look I, i'm now seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship i want to let the love come in for me i want you to let it in i want you to let the love flow to you now or this is what you're saying, Aquarius. Um, causes the love of women to men and men to women. Yeah. So it's like, you know, let's let's love each other now. Maybe there was somebody who wasn't, you know, with the program back then, yesteryear. Now they want to love you now. Now they want you to, you know, forgive all. Let bygones be bygones. It's best for us to be together. You know, the whole shebang. You know, they, they want it back for whatever reason okay okay uh the four of swords so somebody could feel as if this was a temporary separation there was a okay so the four of swords talks about separation due to suspicion of infidelity and we got a suspicious person here coming up in the moon so maybe you cut something off or someone cut something off with you because there was suspicion that oh you playing you got somebody else there's someone you know who has your attention it's not me i'm not up for the game so let's just cut it short it could be that it's a temporary separation and it could be that um, somebody was serious. Like, I don't want to go back or this is or I'm done with it. This is somebody also thinking about the future, making a plan for the future, um, saying, OK, we took time apart. Now let's come back together. Uh, yeah, page of pentacles. There could even be someone who wants to give you an apology, a gift of some sort, something tangible. This is somebody who's saying, I want consistency with you now. I want something on a consistent basis. Um, this is somebody who had maybe many options in love and now they're coming to a place of understanding. They need to make a decision. Who, what, when, how, and where, you know? So um, with the page of pentacles, we got somebody who's gained awareness. This is also d learning divination. Somebody could have learned what's going to happen for you or trying to peer into 
the future for you or for them or for the both of you and they're trying to come back now because they've got some insight in regards to what the relationship will be or what it could be so somebody could have even visit somebody and got a tarot card reading done on you or got some energy work done to where they, they kind of peered into you know um your future and now they want to come back to you yeah teaches astronomy and liberal science knows the virtues of precious stones herbs gives good familiar so yeah somebody went and learned something here the devil card okay so this was this is malicious with the moon coming out first the page of pentacles and the devil you know this is it's not the best divination like if you you want to do something harmless um you go to a tarot card reader or an energy worker and you say you know is is this person the love of my life okay that's harmless okay you're not trying to say is this the person that i'm supposed to be with oh and tell me about their future and maybe their money and who they're with and uh, how they're doing and uh, when will they get rich will they be rich you know that it seems as if somebody is overstepping boundaries here aquarius yeah, it seems as if someone's overstepping boundaries with um, the Page of Pentacles and the Devil card. Okay. Um, somebody wants you back stuck to them, bound to them. How can I get the Aquarius stuck to me? Or how can I get this Aquarius back? This could be you. We've got two cards that talk about the Tarot. Um, so I don't know you could be looking at tarot readings your person could there could be somebody trying to gain knowledge about what is this person trying to gain knowledge about here what is either the Aquarius or this person trying to gain knowledge about okay um, King of Cups and the uh, Knight of Cups so this person could be trying to gain knowledge about how to make you fall in love with them again what to do how can they manipulate the energy how can they move you emotionally so that you make an emotional decision and maybe not a rational one? All right. So they could be trying to gain knowledge about, once again, how to bind you with the devil card here. Get you to choose wrong, you know, choose this karmic road here. All right. So somebody could be trying to get you to fall in love with them again. Um, they, they like your energy stuck on them. Okay. For whatever reason. Okay, um, we got reshuffle, please. So we're going to reshuffle. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, what is this person really trying to do? Yeah, so they like your energy. Magical star child. So the queen of wands. They like that. Um, they like your vibration. They like what you bring. They like what you give to the connection. They like that you're vibrant. They like your charisma. Maybe you're funny. You look good. You're sexy. You're sultry. Um you get a lot done in a short amount of time. You have a lot of friends or you have a lot of, um, you know, networking partners or they just like the energy that you brought to the relationship. I knew that was coming out. Um, the queen of pentacles. They like that. Maybe you, you live in a lap of luxury or you have money or you have good health or you're just a good person. Overall, you take care of things. You're responsible. Um, you can make things grow. You're prosperous. You're fertile. This person could even just be wanting to kind of like energy harvest you off of you. Like, you know, take your energy and manifest somewhere else or manifest in their own life for their own selves, not for the both of you. Yeah, could be maybe um, we've got Scorpio, we've got Taurus coming up. We've got uh, Aries. Maybe Capricorn. Yeah, we got Capricorn with the devil. Um, you've got somebody here, maybe a masculine energy who what is this masculine energy doing somebody likes the fact that you are on your square or you're not moving or they're trying to see how they can move you back to that in the meditation i got like it was like some women trying they were you know doing a lot to manipulate the energy it seemed as if it wasn't malicious though it was like they were trying to almost protect or keep away from a ward off this could be your angelic presence you need to talk to your angels or your guides or your ancestors or Okay, so there's somebody here who wants a second chance. They want you to absolve them of all their wrongdoing, of whatever they've done or whatever they did in the past, whatever um, they didn't do. They want you to forgive. They want you to put it to bed. They want you to put it to rest. They want you to deal with it and then allow for them to come back, okay? Um, to revive maybe a relationship 
from the dead here with the absolve here. You got the moon card coming up again. This person could have hidden agenda, agenda hidden motive. Okay. Um, I think it is all selfish. Is this selfish? Is this self-serving? It's like this person wants you back because of your good nature, your good vibration. You're fun. You have a lot. You're funny. You help. You inspire. Um, yeah, it is selfish. Damn, that flipped out. The hermit card. So this person could be under maybe judgment or they could be getting, they could be under like um, negative karma, you know, getting what they put, getting what they have put out. They're getting it back. Yeah. Um, it could be a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be. Um, the hermit card. This is somebody here who. Um, yeah, they could be getting negative karma. This person wants you to come back. So the nine is about self and it's um, it's singular. So, yeah, this person is definitely wanting you to come back to, you know, serve them. The agenda for them wanting you back is self-serving. It's not one where um, they want to give to the connection, uh, where they want to, they want it to be mutually beneficial. Now, they will act as if they do, but they really don't. Why does this person want Aquarius to come back? Or why does Aquarius, the Empress, again, fertile, gross, abundant, uh, could be, I heard a good cook, maybe you sing or you... I don't know. There's something about you. There's um, a star. Okay. A star like quality about you. Um, you're able to make something out of nothing. You're able to create. They can create with you and they can create from you. Um, you get, you have good idea also. It's definitely someone who is away from you. They're missing your energy. They're really filling the void. What is the advice for Aquarius? Leave him or her alone. Give them room to change. So this person has not changed. Okay. Um, you may want to tell this person or maybe they'll tell you Aquarius. You chose to give love to the wrong person. Face it, then fix it. So this person needs to fix something about themselves here. I think you know that this is coming up too. You are a good person. Therefore, I can't let you go. I will never find anyone like you. Okay, so this really pretty much sums up the reading. Your energy is second to none. It's best. It's the best they ever had. It's not even just the sex. Maybe it could be. Um, that's just one component. It's really who you are, what you brought to the connection, Aquarius. And this person can't replicate it. They can't duplicate it in anyone else or anything else. They thought that they can drink the thought of you, the feelings of you away. They thought that they can eat it away. They thought that they can travel. They thought that they can have sex with whomever and they will forget about you. But one thing um, they can't do is forget about you because firstly, they may have treated you unfair. Nobody wants someone back this desperately, whether this is you Aquarius or the other person. Um, no one wants someone back this desperately, right? Who didn't treat them so I heard deplorable. Ooh. So this person could have treated you deplorable. They could have treated you bad, like very bad. Uh, unfair. You know, it just was it just was unfair how they treated you. Uh, is this person in regret in regards to Aquarius? Yes, the four of wands. Okay, so this is my circle of women card. So maybe this person had more than one woman, more than one choice, more than one man. If it was, a, you know, I don't know. Um, this person had a ring, uh, you know, and um, now they've come to some understanding of what the relationship was. Maybe they could even become to an understanding that you're their twin flame or if they subscribe to that or you're their high level soulmate, whatever. You know, they're coming to some type of understanding um, and they want reunion. They want the opportunity to make her make you happy, put a smile on your face. Uh, to take you out, treat you out, treat you better. Yeah, the sun card. This person wants the opportunity. Um, what is this about? This person wants the opportunity to... They came to some enlightenment, some awareness. Okay. 
Enlight enlightenment, awareness in regards to you, Aquarius. Destruction, the tower card. All of a sudden, let's see. All of a sudden, the star card and the empress. So all of a sudden, they understand the relationship. They could have treated you unfair. They want you to deal with them compassionately, even though maybe they had very little when they dealt with you or they didn't think about your feelings in regards to some of the things that they did or did not do. This person wants to you to forgive all. Um, they want to bear their soul with you, but they know that you don't trust them. They might not even trust themselves or they don't trust themselves, you know, divulging to you how much they love, adore, want to be with you or be like you even so. Um, this person looks up to you. They feel like with you, there's a lot of growth, abundance, an opportunity to, to have I heard fru fruition, bring maybe things to fruition or opportunity to um, expand. Okay, expansion with you. With you, they see something they don't see with anybody else or in anyone else. Um, you uplift them, Aquarius. Okay, so when they were with you, that's what you did. Maybe they didn't feel that great about themselves. Maybe there was an energy of low self-esteem. Even if they portrayed, they put on this masquerade that they were just, you know, um, the ish or, or whatnot. But um, deep down inside, they didn't feel that way. And with you, you gave them that extra oomph, that push. Also, they had someone like you, someone else so brilliant, so bright, so great, you know, feeding them, feeding their ego, feeding um, their low self-esteem, helping uplift, build them up. Um, that was an ego trip in itself. To have somebody like you pushing them. It's like this person realized that they knew, you know, early on that, you know, this, you are significant. You have a starlight quality that's coming out again about you. Maybe something that you didn't even tap into or you hadn't even tapped into Aquarius. This person was able to see it in you. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who deals with a lot of different people either in love and business and everything. They, they deal with a lot of different personalities. So they're a very good read of person and they read you, whether they told you truly how they felt about you or what they saw in you, they read you, but they kept it to themselves. Because to tell you how great, abundant, uplifting you are, maybe you would get the big head and you would really see how low, how low vibrational, how toxic, how karmic, how conceited, how um, self-centered, maybe even um, you would see how they, they really had low self-esteem and you would walk away. So it, it's like, if I tell you how great you are, you might actually start believing it and really seeing it within yourself. That's that angel blowing the dust off of that fishbowl, right? Oh, fishbowl so that other people can see Aquarius other people can see in a fishbowl right a fishbowl is clear right other people saw something in you or this person saw something in you this could even be a group of people or one person but they didn't let you know how dynamic how great you really are or would be they did not cultivate that within you they did not help um maybe help your gift flourish they didn't help that they wanted to keep it you know they found they struck gold right Whomever this is, they struck gold in you, Aquarius, or vice versa, you struck gold in someone else. But this person didn't even take it to, you know, the gold exchange. They just took the gold home and put it under their bed. So they took something valuable and just, you know, stuffed it under the bed, put it in a very, you know, um, you know, insecure place. It's not secured. It's unsecured. Um, they didn't value it. So they saw how valuable you were, Aquarius, but they didn't tell you your value and they didn't treat you valuable. They didn't want you to start to really lean into who you really are. This could even be family. We had the Queen of Pentacles come out. Could be mother. Could be anybody here. Um, we've got somebody who sees you for who you really are, Aquarius. Uh, or they, they saw it from the beginning. They didn't tell you. And you really didn't lean into it. You know, you just like, well, I'm just being me, you know, just showing up. 
this person didn't want you to see who you were because then you would leave you would um be like the star card also the star card you give water you give air you know um you left this person and now they're you know it, it's hard for them to breathe the ten of cups there there's someone who wants this could be a family dynamic they want to call a truce they want to keep the peace maybe this is what you did when you were around family or when you are around family um somebody wants to call a truce now it could be air sign gemini libra aquarius it could be someone who's far away from you the three of wands here someone who you know there's space between the two of you there's someone who's putting something out hoping that maybe you'll take to it maybe putting the fillers out putting some you know, energy work out hoping that you can pick up on it and you'll come you'll come to them because the three of wands is about putting something out and then waiting for the return so it's like this person is putting something out, waiting for the return and doing it around the clock all the time. They can't stop thinking about you. They don't want to let something go. You may have given this person chance after chance or vice versa. This is what they did in regards to you. This is a situation where, again, this relationship was cyclical, went in cycles here, in, out, hot, cold. This person couldn't maintain the relationship with you. It was always elite. It was always a new start because we got a cardinal sign. Then we got a mutable sign. And then there was an ending. There was no maintaining the relationship here. Um, they didn't look to do that. Uh, they couldn't do that. And uh, it, it's just unfortunate because now they don't even know how to get you back. I think you're over it or you're done with or you're tired of. You know, the devil card with the five of wands again. So we've got somebody doing some energy work, okay, trying to pull you back in. Um, they're obsessed now. You got the devil coming out in two different decks, obsessed with having your energy back. They were able to manifest, to flourish, to grow. Okay, so uh, Aquarius, if you don't know how dynamic and great you are and someone else sees that in you, then they can kind of take that energy and for themselves and manifest within their own life, uh, within their own square, within their own circle, and maybe keep you out, keep you close enough so that you continue to feed them, right? But you never really come into tr knowing who you truly are. So this is definitely like energy harvesting. This is this could this is the people who are close to you. This could definitely be family. The ten of pens excuse me, ten of cups to me is it could be falsehood too because it says the stage is set for happiness. So somebody set a stage for you as if they were happy for you or happy about you or happy about your gift or happy to be with you. Or maybe they weren't. Maybe they were again. You know, takers uh, competing with you, competing goals, competing wills. Um, it was strife always between the two of you. You just couldn't understand for the life of you why you guys couldn't stay together. Or why there was, um, it was hard maintaining the relationship. There was no maintenance of the relationship. Or there, you felt like you were always fighting for this person's attention, their affection. Or vice versa. This is you, Aquarius. Let's close out. Let's see what Aquarius should know moving forward. We're going to oh, damn, we have 28 minutes. Um, five of Wands again. Okay. Um, let's see. Somebody wants you to return. This is energy work. So this is what it could be anything, you know. They, but they want you to return. Yeah, they the seven of swords. You could feel that somebody's doing something with this five and a seven. You definitely can feel that somebody is is stirring the pot or doing something to try to get you back. They're trying to go, you know, undetected. You got to be very cautious of going back to this person or giving them another chance, another try, because the seven of swords talks about, you know, escaping um responsibility obligation leaving someone holding the bag the scapegoat someone who will act as if they want a relationship but they really want to be single this person could really want to be single but they need you in their life to feel abundant to feel accomplished to have fruition or make things come to fruition to have manifestation and um, they need you to continuously blow that smoke up their ass maybe it was real for you but you know um I'm just saying that maybe they need they need that pep talk. They need your good energy. They need it to manifest manifest elsewhere. So they'll be, you know, back and forth also. Keep that in mind. Yeah, Queen of Wands, they need this. 
which is somebody that could even be manifesting from your sexual energy. You got the Queen of Wands coming out twice. So they might even want to have sex with you. Having sex with you helps them heal. I'm hearing like, maybe if you had periods of being away from this person, okay, um, and then you come back to, okay, so let's say you hook up with this person again. You have sex with them and then you leave. Maybe you don't see them for a month or two. Then you see them again. Um, they look better. They look better than the first time you saw them or the last time you saw them. They took that energy that you gave them, that exchange, and they did something with it. They manifest elsewhere. You may be very smart, Aquarius. They may even take your intellectual property and try to, you know, pass it off as their own. Or they try to manifest, once again, elsewhere with someone else or another group of people. Um, this person could even, um, the Queen of Wands here, they could be trying to steal your life purpose or they don't want you to walk into your life purpose. They don't want you to know anything, okay? Um, they don't want you to know yourself, okay? They don't want you to be self-assured, okay? Um, they don't want you to have self-actualization where you come to a place of saying, damn, I actually can do that. You know, I actually did that by myself, self-actualization. They don't want you to come into a place of really, really, really being strong in you, Aquarius, because then that means they are non-existent in your life, maybe even forever. It's done. It's closed. You don't need them. You won't go back to them. You won't talk to them. You... So it's just an energy of keeping you low so that they can continuously go high. Aquarius, I hope that this reading blessed you. Get Ten of Cups again. They definitely want to reconcile. Definitely could be family. I think you get Ten of Cups and you have two different decks now. Definitely could be family members who maybe kept you in a place of, you know, um, let's not foster this person's gift, the Aquarius gift. Let's not really dote on them and cultivate anything about them. Let's even maybe make fun of them. Um, let's um, make light of what they do or make light of their gift or who they really are or how individual you know, how, how they're an individual. Let's um, let's just not celebrate it. OK, um, so the Aquarius can always be questioning themselves. This is keeping you down. This is an energy, a group of people, one person, eight people, 10 people. I don't know, 100 people just trying to keep you in a place of always questioning yourself. If you're unsure, if you're in confusion, you don't make decisions, you don't move forward. For God is not the author of confusion, for we know who is. He came out twice. The devil is. So it's about keeping you in that confused state. So you never really, really rise to that higher vibration of who you are. Come into your life purpose. Maybe even help other people. Help yourself. Help other people. These people didn't want it. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you by going over to the website and booking well by dropping down below and saying well this part resonated for me um it's my family or it's my ex or it's my uh friend or it's a friend group or it maybe even a social group or um a church or a spiritual um religious group here um let me know if it resonates for you um so we can get more readings like this done for you aquarius um Thank you again. Take care. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, doing a collective reading and then answering your questions. Uh, I pray that you took something from this reading and it really blesses you. All right. Take care. Many blessings to you.